Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I hope you decide to be That is one huge waste of rubber if I've ever seen. Here to learn about our movement? Yeah, no thanks. I got my own religion. Hey, Tom. Tommy boy. I can call you Tommy boy, right? I'm going to call you Tommy boy. Listen, you remember what we agreed upon when it came time to uh, take him and daughter out for a night? As I recall, it had something to do about curfew. See, I said that at 10 o'clock on the dot, she better be back in my house. It's 10.01. You forget how to tell time, Tom? You should make time for something this important, neighbor. Watch it. Something that could change your life. And maybe the whole commonwealth. Yeah, listen, you're not a smooth talker. And the most joy I've ever felt, more than just my family, is the admiration of my hard-worked field of crops. Maybe you've wondered, why can't life be like that again? It still is. That's the way I've enjoyed every day of my life for the past 20 years. I doubt that, neighbor. What could be more important than transforming your life? and maybe the whole world along with it. We call ourselves the pillars of the community. Is that what they're calling fraternities nowadays? You sound higher than a hay fever. You got my daughter smoking the same rocks as you? Well, neighbor, what do you say? Ready to take that first step into a new life? Yeah, no. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Exactly how many drugs are you trying to sell me right now? You sound like the biggest fiend I've ever seen. I'm not selling anything, neighbor. Definitely drugs. I'm giving away the secrets of long life, happiness, and prosperity. What do you say? I mean, if you're just giving them away. All right then, fantastic. Now, Tom, I don't want you to get carried away. I still find you mighty suspicious. Don't worry. I don't bite. That's all right, Tom. I do. All right, pack it up. Frat party's over. What the? You're drunk. You're hot. And you over there, I know you're failing your classes, so you need to study. You're, you're unbelievable. I seen you puking. Get back. You sit down. My god, they're swimming me like locusts. Well, you forced my hand. So, I guess I'm gonna have to take your whole club down now. I could really use a beer right now. Too bad they drank it all. Damn college kids. It's hard work being a good father. Anywho, what I come here for again? Oh, that's right, my daughter. Where's she at? I believe she was over here, right? Yeah. There you are. You doing all right? Doing okay? I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. Frat boy. Well, I'm certainly glad to know you learned your lesson. But I gotta tell you, you got a bad taste in me. Oh, and, uh, your boyfriend's dead. Sorry about Thomas? that. Thomas? He wasn't my boyfriend. We had some fun together, that's all. <clears throat> I said, Your boyfriend's dead. 